Either this has fixed it. There's a bug in the Sophos installer for the Mac. Here's how to get around it. To install Sophos for the Mac, you need to go to the Sophos website and you need to create an account. It will send you an email to confirm your email address and then it'll allow you onto the site. Once you're logged in, you can download the Sophos installer.zip onto your Mac. And when you undo that zip, it creates you a Sophos install folder with Sophos installer components and Sophos installer in it. When you double click on Sophos installer, it brings you up with an install Sophos endpoint screen. Click continue. You then get the installer wants to make changes in which you type in your username and password. And unfortunately, the installer says the installer cannot continue because um, it can't find Sophos installer components and this is a bug and I'm not sure if it's actually down to Sophos or whether or not it's down to Mac security. How do you get around it? Go back to your Sophos installer and drag the two components into your Mac home directory. Now that's the one where you have the house and then the name of your machine. As you can see I've transferred Sophos Installer Components and Sophos Installer. Now when you double click on Sophos Installer you get the Install Sophos Endpoint screen again. You then get the Installer Wants to Make Changes in which you type in your username and password. And this time it will go through the installation process and will install successfully. And that's it. Uh, Sophos is now installed. Restart your machine and you're ready to go. Uh, I hope you get the chance to check out my other Mac support videos as most of them will be really useful to Mac users. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.